Alright, this is a video to teach you how to use Penguin Watch by Zooniverse. First thing we need to do is we need to go to penguinwatch.org. It is not .com, it is .org. You can also click, click the link right below this video um, to take you right to that website when we finish. So this citizen science site is using motion-activated cameras at nesting sites in Antarctica to monitor the behavior and social lives of penguins. And because these generate a ton of images, these scientists ask for our help in identifying adults, juveniles, and eggs. So we're going to go ahead and click the Get Started button down here at the bottom. If you want to find out more about the science or the team, you can. And it's going to walk us through here. So this is a citizen science website trying to understand the lives of penguins. We want your help to mark images taken from nesting sites around Antarctica. Go ahead and click Next. So in this program, adults are going to be orange, chicks are going to be green, and eggs are going to be yellow. Notice the chicks and the eggs are typically going to be under the adults because they're standing over top of them to keep them warm. So you have to look very closely. Okay, so you're going to click an image and drag it over to the center of each animal. You can remove the accidental marks using the black and white cross. I'll show you how to do that. We're also going to mark any of the other animals that we might see, just so we know what animals are around these wildlife in Antarctica. So after you've worked on an image for a while, you can decide if you want to share the image. Um, I don't think any of them are that amazing that you're going to want to post it to Twitter or Facebook, but if you want to tell people about this, you absolutely may. I strongly encourage that. So we're going to get started here. It's going to ask us some questions. Are there penguins or any other animals in this picture? Um, I only see penguins. So we're going to say yes. And now we want to mark the adults, the chicks, and the eggs. So we're going to start with adults. So my color is orange. I want to click in the center of their body. And I'm just going to go through and click all of the adults that I can see. Um, notice you can kind of magnify. If I want to delete a mark, you can just click on the X. And I'm trying really hard to click in the center of their bodies because that is the most accurate way that the scientists can get our data. Now, you're not the only person looking at these images. There are going to be several volunteers looking at the same image. So if you don't want to click on all the penguins, because there are a lot in some pictures, um, you don't have to. Someone else will. Okay, so we've marked all of our adults that we can see clearly. Now our chicks, these little fluffy things right here, chicks. So we're going to go ahead and mark them with the green. And I'm also looking for eggs. The eggs would be located down here but I don't see any eggs. I'm only seeing chicks. And if there were any other animals, I would click on the blue and then mark those. But I think for this picture, what I can clearly see, oh, there's one more chick hiding here. There's one more adult hiding in the back. Okay, from what I can clearly see, I've marked them all, so I'm going to click Finish Marking. And you're going to say, I have marked every penguin. Click Finish. You can share it if you want. And it's going to give me another picture. So this one looks totally blank. I'm going to say there are no animals present. Don't want to share it. Ooh, this is a hard one. Okay, so I'm going to go through. There are penguins. I can see them. Okay. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to start marking my adults. Um, this one is from far away, so you probably won't be able to mark the chicks. And for this one, it's going to be really important that you are very careful to get the center of the penguin. If you need to move it, um, you can, just like this. And if I click for a while, it will actually tell me, like, hey, you've marked 30 penguins. You can move on to the next picture because someone else will mark the rest of them. Um, so for this one, I'm like, oh, man, I'm tired of marking penguins. Finish marking. I'm going to say there were too many penguins to mark. No, I don't want to share. So you can keep doing that. If you want to log in, you absolutely may. You can go up here to sign up and log in with whatever email account or Facebook or Twitter you want to. And that way you can keep track of how many penguins you've marked. So if you have any questions, go ahead and raise your hand, or if you're doing this online, go ahead and shoot me an email, kdell at bcps.org, and I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoy being a citizen scientist and helping out our penguins. Have a great day.